you know, you're saying arrows against me, you are, you are, you are, no, 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 no. So Jesus Christ said, by this, people will know that you belong to me when you love one another. When this church was first started, it grew so rapidly. And when people would enter this church, whatever they were looking for, they really receive it. Whether it's a husband, a wife, a job, and people began to say, this church is a cult. They began to call this church a cult. Because anybody that entered, there was so much love. If you say you're a celestial, anywhere you go, say you go to the ministry or whatever, I mean, Celestia, immediately you'll be welcome. People will quickly help you. It was like a big commune. There was so much love in this church. So that love has to remain for the Spirit of God to be with us. We have to love one another. Not just playing lip service, but truly loving one another. If Cain loved his brother, he would not have killed his brother. That is not love. See? That we should love one another. Let's go to uh, Isaiah 44, verse 3, and look for 18. Yes. For I'll pour water on him who is thirsty. Yes. And floods on his dry ground. Mm -hmm. I'll pour my spirit on your descendants. Yes. And my blessings on your offspring. Mm -hmm. They will spring up among the grass. Yes. Like willows by the water course. Right. One, one will say, I am the Lord. I am the Lord. Another will call himself by the name of Jacob. That's it. Another will write with his hand, the Lord. Okay. The name, and name himself. By the name of Israel. Okay, go to John 15, verse 12. John 15, verse 12. John 15, verse 12. This is my commandment. Yes. That you love one another as uh, I have loved you. That is it. Greater love has no one than this. Uh -huh. Than to lay down one's life for yes. his friends. Yes. You are my friends if you do whatever I command you. Yes. No longer do I call you servant. Yes. For a servant does not know what his master is doing. That's it. Thank but you. I have called you my I have called you friends. Yes. For all things that I heard from my father, ah. I have made known to you. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, you ought to love one another. Very important. Anything that will not make you love your brother, please remove it from your hearts. If, for instance, someone is angry, someone needs to do something against you, and you don't like it, but Jesus Christ commands us to call them. Let them know what they've done. Settle it. I just let it go. Don't entertain and allow to grow in your heart hatred, envy, anger, all these things. No. Not only would it defile you, I mean, you make your prayers unacceptable to God. But also will make you commit sin. It's this kind of anger that makes people hurt each other. And that's what happened to Cain and Abel. Because he would not address. Suppose he had called Cain and Abel and said, Abel, I'm so angry at you. He said, Why? Well, God accepted your offering, didn't accept mine. I said, I'm sorry, you know, but this is what God told us to do. And that's what I did. I'm sorry if I offended you. You know, he would have died down. But he didn't call him. And that spirit in him made him kill his brother. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And where did he, why did he kill him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. His works were evil. Now, what does the Bible describe as evil? Cain offered the fruit of the ground to God. That's what the Bible describes as evil. And Abel was righteous. Because Abel went according to the way of the Lord, the command of God. God said, when you come to me, you cannot come in your own self. I will not accept you. You cannot say, oh God, I'm so good, and my father is uh, the founder of this church. No, no, that's not going to help you. No, 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 no. You have to come and say, I'm a sinner, God. I come under the blood of Jesus Christ. That way, God would accept you. That's exactly what Abel did. But when you say, ah, Lord, I fasted for 40 days, I give money to uh, the charity. Remember the, the story of the, the publican and, uh, and the Pharisee who went to pray in the temple? It's the book of Luke. And the Bible says that both of them went to pray. And this Pharisee, of course, who was like a reverend father in those days, a religious man, 